we're back. Trying to win game two after a pretty lackluster performance in game one. Or round one, I should say. A few misplays of figuring what cards are in our deck can uh, lead to some not so friendly matches. I uh, lost last round 2 0 to a blue red ramp control type deck. Um, a deck we should have beat uh, game one. Can't really remember. I think we just ran out of. What did we run out of? Oh, uh. It just out planeswalkered us. Our, one of our critical weaknesses. And then uh, game two, uh, one early misplay by me by not getting infinite obliteration. Uh, with my first Dark Petition, instead of getting a Transgress to get rid of the known Ulamog in his hand, when I could have just got Dark Petition for Infinite Liberation and got rid of all of the Ulamogs, not just one in his hand. Or, he actually had three in his hand, but not just the... Uh, I'll just go watch the game, you can see how badly I played. Uh, but it still came down to him having the counters and uh, me having the cards. And uh, a few fast clicks by me didn't help anything. Here, I would just love to play a white weenie deck. We're like a mix in between a mid-range and a control deck. We don't have the super long game control decks like Soren. Or Ojitai, things like that, where it just ends the game. Even though we can actually Ojitai is pretty reasonable for us to end, to to get rid of. But if they la if they cast a Chandra or a Gideon, any Planeswalker that puts a beating on us is a threat. So like Nissa isn't the bad, isn't the the. Zendikar one with the tokens and the counters. Voice of Zendikar. That one's not too bad because the things that she makes isn't a big problem. And the most counters you normally see Nissa do is two uh, plus and then minus minus. Sometimes you, you can even play another Nissa on top of that. But still a language normally will kill most creatures. Um, that does that. And then ultimate price for any stray Sylvan advocates that are there. But yeah, I would really like just to play... A white weenie deck, and then hopefully we just draw the cards that we need, like just dead weight, ultimate price, grass. Like we have so much removal. I think we have four, eight, eleven, fifteen. I think we'll end up having like sixteen r removal spells, five of which are board wipes. Or we can just sit here in stage one, and I can keep talking here. I'll pull up the list again, or my my deck. We can see how great it is. Oh, look at that. Works every time. Every time like a charm. I'm playing Magic Gaston. And Gaston. I would love to play first. Yes, I will keep this. Hand is sincerely weak to anything that gets rid of my... Read the bones. Turn. Always lead with double swamp in my eyes because, uh, well, hey, there's no turn two green spell that you have, and also, uh, grass of darkness is a thing. So we'll see what we're playing here, surely enough. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna guess ramp. Ramp or something with Nahiri. That's my guess. Those are my two guesses. Nahiri or something with ramp. Mm, still could be Nahiri. I don't think it's Nahiri. This could be a Aristocrats deck, maybe? I'm not sure. So it's it's a four color rights deck. As much as I hate doing this, it's gotta be done. Oh yeah. Bottom bottom. 
the turn. So next turn, let's see what he does here. But if he goes like Dust Watch Recruiter into Blister Pod, well, no, you can actually do more than that. Visionary. I actually might just cast Languish because I don't think I'll have anything else that I'm going to be doing. Yeah, Blister Pod. Hopefully, it's another Loam Dry. That would be ideal. Dust Watch Recruiter. Okay, well. There could have been worse cards. So now next turn I'm just going to go Ob and pass. So he has a collected company in his hand. just makes the most sense to play this. Because I could have, if I somehow could have gotten another black mana up, I could have, uh... Collected company! But I have another language in hand. And barring he hits the combo this turn, which I don't think is actually possible. Alright. He has six mana, he could have seven mana. Brood monitor, yeah, he can't actually do it. Or no, no, he can't. So languish here, followed up with evolving wilds. Or no, actually what I might do is I might go languish. Most is going to kill him, which is fine. Yeah, I'm going to go Duress first. Yeah, so Duress, follow up with Languish. So it's a, it's a four color rights deck. A, a good matchup for us. Uh, Virulent Plague ends his combo, and so does, well not so does, but uh, so Archangel Avison, no problem, no problem. You're gonna take one for it? Sure. Dude, Archangel Avison and something else. I don't know, man. What are all draw these displays, sir? And another language. <laughs> Alright, so we're in pretty good control here. He does need double white to cast that. plan here. Oh, that's right, you have to get a Loam Dryad, too. And Displacer? Sure. No. Just plus again. Not bad. Still not sure what he has now. I just did that because I'm essentially just paying four mana to two for one as creatures. Uh, yeah. So he has an Archangel Avison and something else that I just don't know yet. Swamp. And can he flash that in? He can. Boink.
wish I know what Archangel Avacyn was. Uh, I think it's a 5-5, five, five, and I really hope it's not. Alright. Time to check. Arch. It is a 4-4. Four, four. Alright. We're golden. So... Do I just go plus here? Yeah, plus. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could be reversed. I wish I could have hit that on the swamp. Because then I could have, uh... Yeah, that's gonna die. I'm sorry to tell you, man. Oh. Well, that's a thing. Mm, you do you, man. You do you. <laughs> what I can do is I can dark petition into a transgress to force his hand. It's just one and... Oh, he's just doing both. Yeah, sure. Perfect. So here... Uh, let's just see what we draw. Well, there we go! Just like I planned. that on the stack. Boink. Sure. Your guys get indestructible till end of turn. Good thing they're all dead. I have so many at this point that literally Into Languish does nothing for me. Like, pretty much at this point, is uh, he has a Cryptolith right, a land, and an unknown. Sure. You do you, man. Oh, yeah, you can activate it. Yeah, sure. Oh, Drowsy Sky Spawner. Please, play it. Please. You don't play it here. Uh, you activate Dust Watch. Yeah, he, he knows what he's doing. I'm just going to keep drawing cards because I like that. One, two, three, four. Whoop. whoop. So he's got a mattery shaper. Sure. Alright, so here you go clip wings, natural state, virulent plague, dead weights are a little bit better than an ultimate price, and ruinous path is really bad. Oh, uh, wait, this deck normally sideboards, like, into, yeah, uh, I'm actually getting rid of all my ultimate prices. Give me that. And I think Infinite Obliteration is literally better than, uh, a dead weight. Alright, so now what are we cutting? The rest only hits normally like one or two cards. Transgress hits more. I'll keep two in. 
and I'm actually just going to get rid of the ruinous path. Yeah, let's try this. Most most of this deck, um, that it, his deck, normally sideboards with uh, like Reality Smashers and um, Thought Not Sears. So with that, if he does that. Um, I will change up a little bit more, but some still go for the combo, which is why I have Virulent Plague in there, because it just ends that combo. You can't kill me with a combo. But most of them get rid of the combo, but he... I, I, didn't, I don't know. I, I didn't really see much there from his deck. Sure. It's a little scary. Um, there's nothing that he can cast. So what can he get? I feel like just doing transgress, more use of your mana. Yeah. Uh, thought nuts here. Uh, he had, I believe it was a Reflector Mage, right? He had Displacer and something else. That'll work. I'm just going for a language here. Oh, unless he wants to counter it. Oh. I'm guessing white? He doesn't have any black either. Oh boy. Uh, bottom. Bottom. Yeah, that was actually really bad. That was not a good breathe the bones. I think they gave me another one, which is fine. The cool thing is, is that that reflector mage, he has art change. You know, he had displacer and the thing. Wow. I'm just gonna play Nissa. Guessing black. Black or green? Hmm. Interesting. Yes, I would love to do that. I would love for him to dump his hand here. I don't know if he can, but here comes the Reflector Mage, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that part. Sure. Scherzers. Let's see what I draw. Uh, bottom top. I have a little bit too much land. I am going to get rid of a swamp. Hey, it's a 2-3. I hope he plays his uh, displacer. Now, as long as he doesn't have a negate, we should be good. If he has Clash of Wills, that's still fine. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Dead here? We're not. We're down to one. Well, I am 
am indeed dead to quite a few things. If he has a collector company in his hand, no, he doesn't, but. Whenever I play these decks, I. I can't. I always see it run into the negates, because they don't bring much in. Uh, so, what do they bring out then? So he probably brings out the right, so I'm just going to get that to the sideboard. And then just bring in a Ruinous Path? Ru is either going to be Ruinous Path or Ultimate Price? I like Ultimate Price, but a little better. I'm actually going to get rid of one of the dead weights and bring in Ruinous Path. <laughs> Keep it. Yeah, that was a really, just a, <laughs> that negate won in the game, and then drawing that displacer won him the game too, unless he had it in his hand, which I don't, I don't, maybe he did, I don't, I don't know, I literally don't know. He has two collected company in his hands, of course. Of course. They always do, though, right? I mean... I'm just going to try to wean him off as much cards as I can. Yeah, that's a card you can play. Mm. I'm going to go bottom top. That'll give me my sixth. Oh my god. Whenever I play these decks, I can never just draw the things I need. It's always a random assortment of crap. So I do have a few things I can do here. I am going to do this, though. Now I have to name a card, which I am going to name <sighs> Sacred Fire. 
So it's either going to be Eldrazi Displacer or Thought Not Seer. What's worse? So I didn't see any of those cards in his hand. So I'm just going to go with Eldrazi Displacer. As that should get four of them. Okay. And he does have the four Reality Smashers. Okay. And he does have the land, so I mean, or he doesn't, yeah, he does have the land. So again, if he just... Otherwise, next turn, it's just going to be... Sure. Missed on it, which is good. Visionary. No. He's going to activate Recruiter again. Get Reality Smasher. I can't block the flyer. That will allow him to do two two things. Yeah, let me just target that. If I I have that language in my back pocket. I did, didn't I? That was weird. <laughs> Just restart my game. A little technical difficulties, I guess. And if he just goes Reality Smasher, um, we can double block. He'll kill my thing. He won't trample over anything. And then I will also get a uh, a token. Nothing like crashing a game. That wasn't too bad, I don't think. One. So, let's ready to reflect your mage. Yeah, that's fine. But then, again, what that means is I can get rid of. What did he reveal with his thing? No, that's exile. So I'm trying to see what my options are.
again, it is a languish. Anissa is not bad, even though I already played the land. Transgress gets rid of that. I still feel like Languish is the best. Is it not? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take Languish. Cast it. Take the five. Go down to two. Thought nuts here? Double reality smasher. Jesus. If it matters, but why not? Because I'm cool. And I lose. Hmm, I guess I did survive that. Didn't survive that though. Oh, and two, and I don't know why. Oh, well, Jesus, I was going to lose no matter what happened there. Man. <laughs> I feel like, say we're, I feel like this deck would be pretty solid. Like, I feel like that's a matchup we should win. I guess maybe... Yeah... So, I guess you learned that one. You just don't pick uh, Displacer. Or you don't pick, uh, yeah, you don't pick Displacer. So, we'll have a uh, game three coming up shortly.